Hello. I hope this message finds you and your family well. Welcome to the 2020 Beagle Elementary 6th grade recognition. It is my absolute pleasure to host this event. This group of students is near and dear to my heart. Just like all of you were brand new to Beagle Elementary six years ago, for some of you, you are my first first grade class that I taught for Grand Ledge Public Schools. And all of us together became Beagle Comments. In fact, I remember our school open house that year so vividly. I was a nervous wreck, but I survived. And not only that, I thrived. And when you walk into the middle school next year, and if you feel nervous, just know that you are ready. You will not just survive, but you will thrive too. The key to your success will be empathy and kindness. With empathy and kindness, you will never be alone on the paths that you travel. Before we jump too far ahead, we need to celebrate your success as a Beagle student. Like many of our staff, there is nothing more than I want than to be able to have lunch with you one last time in the Beagle cafeteria. Or how about a game of sharks and minnows on the, on the playground during recess? One last dodgeball event? Even if that means that the entire class gets in cahoots to get me out first? For me, I will miss being able to walk into the classrooms whenever I want, for whatever reasons I wish. And speaking of classroom visits, I have to say, this group of students was the only group in the entire school to be hesitant to offer me the open seat next to them when I came for a visit. I took it as a sign that they didn't want me to distract them from their learning. And it, you know, it wasn't necessarily because they were worried that I'd eat their snack or hide their binder or read their writing out loud. I'm confident none of those could have been the reason for their hesitation. I will miss standing in the hallway every morning greeting you to school with a bad joke as many of you are still half asleep. Whoever takes over the role at the middle school, you know the job of hollering at you from down the hallway to hustle up and don't be last, they have big shoes to fill. Whoever that fearless staff person is, I am confident that you will greet them with a smile a good joke, or perhaps a good excuse for straggling behind. So before you jet off in the summer break, I hope this tribute brings you joy and happiness. As you listen to those that miss you dearly, never forget that you matter. You are resilient, you are kind, you are smart, you are brave, you are a leader. You are a Beagle Kermit. Enjoy. So we talked all night about the rest of our lives Where we're gonna be when we turn 25 I keep thinking times will never change Keep on thinking things will always be the same But when we leave this year we won't be coming You know cause we're on a yeah. Got something that you need to say You better say it right now cause you don't have another day Hi 6th graders, this is Mrs. Stabley and I wanted to let you know that I have had a wonderful year with you guys and I enjoyed our time together. Unfortunately, it was cut too short. But as you move on, I want you to always remember that some kids are smarter than you, some kids have cooler clothes than you, some kids are better at sports than you. It doesn't matter, okay? You have your thing too. Be the kid that can get along. Be the kid who is generous. Be the kid who is happy for other people. Be the kid who does the right thing. Be the next kid. Everybody, it's Mrs. Nyman. Hey, I miss you and I think about you all the time. I know that you're getting ready to wrap up the school year and it's been one that was a challenge and not what we all expected, but you should be proud of your accomplishments for the year and um, you know continue to learn and grow over the summer. And then next year, when you start your seventh grade year and you're big middle schoolers, you have to remember that other people matter. Continue to be kind and support each other and work together because you're the future and I miss you and I love you. Bye.
Hello, 6th graders. It's Mrs. Mullins here. Although the end of the year did not go as originally planned, I hope that you are all staying safe and healthy and that we are making the best of these times. We have all worked so hard this year and have grown so much. As you transition into middle school, remember all the good times that you had in elementary school and all the relationships that you built. I wish you nothing but the best in your future and all your future successes. Hi sixth graders, I am so incredibly proud of each and every one of you. Those of you who know me pretty well know that I really um, like Stephen Hawking and I just want to leave you with a quote by him. He once said, intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. I think that quote is so fitting for this time in our lives and just for your, all of you as you embark on the next journey and you are all so intelligent and you are all are just great individuals. Hey Beagle 6th graders, as you move on to middle school, here are some words of wisdom for you to ponder. Anyone who has had me as a teacher knows that I love a good quote. A bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't get anywhere until you change it. If you are always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. Wrong is wrong, even if everybody is doing it. Right is right, even if nobody is doing it. And my own personal favorite, when all else fails, take a nap. Beagle 6th graders, I loved being your teacher. Always remember you matter, you are enough, and you will always have a special place right here in my heart. I love you, go out and change the world. Congratulations 6th graders at Beagle Elementary. I am so proud of you guys. I cannot believe you guys are going to 7th grade next year. I've missed you guys these last couple of years. I know you guys are gonna do great things in the future. Once again, congratulations. As we go my wonderful sixth graders I miss you I know this is weird times I feel like you've heard that so many times already but just know that Briggsy's thinking of you like I said I miss you and holy cow you're gonna be amazing next year in seventh grade Hayes isn't gonna know what hit him I love you all good luck Hi, sixth graders. It makes me so sad that this is the way that we have to end your sixth grade year. Um, I miss you all so much, and I just wanted to leave you with a few words from my boy, Dr. Seuss. Um, so here's an excerpt from All oh, the Places You'll Go. Kid, you'll move mountains. So be your name, Roman or Katie or Alex or Haley, Aaliyah, Lavelle or Kyra. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. All right. I hope you all have a great year in seventh grade. I miss you all. Come back and see us. Hey, Beagle sixth graders. I hope you're doing well. As we come to the end of this unique school year, I want to wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Now, I'm not much for making speeches, so I'll give you some words of wisdom. First, Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Remember that ogres are like onions. And when life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? Just keep swimming. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you well. And with that, may the force be with you. Hello, sixth graders. I'm excited for you as you get ready to transition to Hayes. It's a building full of wonderful teachers and word on the street is their lunch selections are a little bit better. Um, you guys are a special class and I have a lot of memories um, of you. A, a lot of you I remember coming in as first graders. You were so cute. And I remember field trips we took in third grade 
um, to the Capitol and to the aquarium where we got to touch those cool animals in the touch tank and drawing our shadows um, outside in the sunshine near the end of the school year. I'm going to miss seeing you in the hallways and I hope you come back to visit and let me know if that rumor about the lunches is true. Um, please remember that you are always going to be a Beagle kid and the staff at Beagle is always going to be cheering you on and celebrating your successes. Congratulations, seventh graders, and good luck. Hard to believe it's your sixth grade graduation. Doesn't seem that long ago that Kermie was helping you with your third grade math. Congratulations, I'm proud of all of you. As you head off to middle school, remember to work hard, always be kind, take time to relax, and always take time to get outside. Bye! Second graders, I mean sixth graders, I can't believe you're already done at Beagle and heading off to middle school. I know it didn't quite end how you wanted it to, but I am so proud of you and I know you're going to do great things. Good luck! here. I know it's been a while since I've seen some of you, but don't forget all the fun we had and all the fun things that we did. Most of all, remember that you are all very, very special kids. Set your goals high and always dream big. I wish you much joy and happiness as your new chapter moves on to the middle school. Good luck, everybody. Bye. Hi, sixth graders, soon to be seventh graders. I cannot believe that your time at Beagle is already coming to an end. It seems like just yesterday, you were little teeny tiny first graders walking into my classroom for the first time. You will always hold a very special place in my heart as you guys are my very first group of students. And I will never forget how much you taught me that first year of us together as I was learning right alongside you as a first year teacher. Thank you so much for the memories and all the time that we got to spend together. It has been a pleasure watching you learn and grow during your time at Beagle. I wish you the best of luck next year when you're seventh graders at Hayes. Please come back and share, us, share with us your successes and all the exciting things that are happening in your future. Never forget where you came from. You'll always be part of the Beagle family um, and you'll always be a comment. And remember to T-R-Y, always try. See you soon. Think about tomorrow like we think about now. Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end. And suddenly it's like women and Hello, sixth graders. Mr. Snyder here, and I wanted to send a short message congratulating you on graduating sixth grade and moving on to the middle school next year. Um, both your past and present teachers and all the staff here at Beagle are very proud of you and everything that you've accomplished. Uh, many of you were in my first class when I started teaching here at Beagle uh, in 2015 and it has been a joy to watch you all both grow personally and academically and I cannot wait to see everything you accomplish in the future. In the words of one of your classmates, Apollo, he said, once Team Snyder, always Team Snyder. And I want to extend that out to Team Beagle. Once Team Beagle, always Team Beagle. I wish you good luck and have a great summer. Hi, sixth graders, almost seventh graders. It's Mrs. Rushton here to tell you congratulations and good luck in the future. Some of you had me as your first grade teacher, and I miss seeing you every day. You have accomplished so much, and I am very proud of you. It seems like just yesterday you were walking into my classroom learning how to read. And now you are growing into the leaders of tomorrow and you are becoming the class that will help others succeed. I hope that you will continue to follow your dreams, never give up, and live life to the fullest. Remember to be kind and always be the reason someone smiles today. 
I hope you always laugh often, smile lots, and make lots of memories. Remember that life goes fast, and so enjoy every minute of this new adventure. Continue to work hard even when it's difficult, and always be committed to accomplishing your goals. Congratulations, sixth graders. You did it. Hi, sixth graders. It's Mrs. Van Hoosen. Even though it's been a few years since I taught at Beagle, I wanted to send this special good luck message to you as you head off to middle school. I remember your smiling faces and all the fun things that we did together in third grade. I wish you all the best. Work hard, study hard, have fun, and good things will come to you. Hi Beagle Elementary class of 2020. It's Mrs. Kenoff from Arizona wishing you all the best in middle school and beyond. You guys take care. Hi Beagle sixth graders. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations on finishing your time as a Beagle Elementary Comet. Um, I'm so sorry that we can't be there to celebrate all of your accomplishments and growth um, in person but just know that there are so many people, myself included, that are celebrating you and your growth and your grit and your perseverance and um, all of the things that you've achieved in your years at Beagle. Um, and we just look so forward to watching you guys continue to grow and make your mark on this world. So know that you are loved, I love you, um, I miss you, and congratulations. at Beagle Elementary. I'm so happy and proud of you that you are moving on to a new chapter in your life. Um, I miss you guys so much these last two years and I cannot wait to see you at Hayes next year. It's going to be super excited to be reconnected. I love you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the summer and can't wait to see you next year. Congrats. Hello Beagle 6th graders, it's me, Miss Robeson. I know it's been a while since I've seen you, but I wanted to take a minute to wish you the best before you head off to middle school. And I want you to remember a few things before you go. Dream big, work hard, be kind, and keep smiling. I'm so proud of each and every one of you and I can't wait to see the places you'll go in life. Congratulations! I got this feeling inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on All through my city, all through my home We're flying up no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally When you dance, dance. 
We were sleeping in cars, we were searching for ours We were burning cigars with the white plastic tips Till we saw the sun But we said crazy things like Things like I refuse to 